Tonight, we are working to uncover new details about the deadly shooting inside Huffman High School. Welcome in. I'm Jim Dunaway. I'm Sherry Jackson. Birmingham police tell us they do have a person of interest in the case. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark is live outside Birmingham Police Headquarters. And Michael, it remains unclear at this hour whether anyone will be charged in Cortland Arrington's death. Yeah, that's right. And police tell me that that person of interest is still in custody at this hour. Charges are pending a review from the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office. Police took that person into custody last night, and police tell me they have 48 hours to bring formal charges against someone who is in custody. Donning scrubs and a smile, Cortland Arrington was just months away from graduating with dreams to become a nurse. Instead, shot at her high school. Walking through the doors of Huffman knowing that Cortland will not be with us, she will not be returning. It's kind of hard. Friends of the 17 year old still coming to grips with the tragedy. Police haven't said what led up to the shooting, but school leaders admit not all safety protocols may have been followed. Although we have metal detectors here in Huffman High School, our metal detectors were not in use. We are examining the efficiency of the protocols and procedures that were executed on yesterday. Citing the ongoing investigation, Birmingham City Schools Superintendent Lisa Herring couldn't say why the two metal detectors at Huffman High School weren't in use. Herring says they're typically operated by school resource officers and assigned staff. School will open tomorrow for a day of healing and comfort, but there will be additional security going forward. We have not only heightened our procedures, but we are revamping and revisiting with this extreme amount of urgency those protocols, not just for Huffman High School. A 17-year-old male injured in the shooting was treated and released from the hospital and later interviewed by police. Investigators won't say if that's the person of interest they took into custody after reviewing surveillance video inside the school. Students will return tomorrow, many dedicating the rest of their year to their fallen classmate. We know everything that we do, we're doing it for Cortland. Cortland wanted to be here. She wanted to graduate, and we're going to make sure our class graduate. Now, I spoke to Jefferson County District Attorney Mike Anderton late this afternoon. His office is reviewing the information from Birmingham Police and tells me that no decisions will be made tonight. We'll, of course, keep asking questions. For now, reporting live outside Birmingham Police Headquarters, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Michael, thank you. We did learn today that Birmingham City Schools will promote a student safety line. According to the superintendent, it's where students will be encouraged to report what they know, hear, or suspect when harm is being planned, that number is 877-250-2830. It's already active and it's staffed 24 hours a day. Now, this is not a new number. However, it is being newly promoted to students as a safety line. They can call that number anonymously.